Hi everybody and welcome back to Funny Bug Bees and Woodworks. My name is Cliff, I'm the owner. Uh, today's video is going to be a follow-up video. Uh, our last video was on how to build candy boards uh, for emergency food sources for your bees over the winter. Today we're going to make a quick video on how I make the sugar mixture to go in these. Uh, I don't make uh, fondant candy that you have to heat up to 235 degrees and all that stuff. It takes too much time and uh, and it's dangerous. Uh, you get that fondant on you when it's hot and it's basically like napalm. So anyway, the way I do it is I use granulated sugar and mix it with some water and vinegar. And the vinegar uh, just helps prevent mildew uh, in the sugar over the winter. So let's go ahead and get started on this video. Work on the recipe and getting it into the sugar board. Stick with us. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is measure out 16 pounds of sugar. I use a kitchen scale. Uh, this one only goes up to 12 pounds before it airs out. So 16 pounds might seem like a lot, but I have plenty of hives that go through that much. And any sugar that's left in these candy boards in the spring, you can just dump out into a big pan like this, dump it into a pot on your stove and turn it right back into sugar syrup and just feed it to your bees in the spring. Uh, I'll measure it a couple of pounds at a time. And I typically mix this a half at a time. So I'll do eight pounds, half the water, and then mix the other eight pounds in. It's just, it's too hard to stir with all 16 pounds. So what we'll do now is tear it out, set it to zero, get eight pounds of sugar. Okay. It's exactly eight pounds of sugar. Then what you'll do is you'll get white vinegar and you need one tablespoon of white vinegar. And you're going to mix that directly to your water. Give it a good stir. Now this is eight pounds of sugar, you're gonna pour in approximately half of your water. So one and a half cups. Half is one and a half cups. There we go, one and a half. And you're gonna start mixing it. Until it's all mixed up. It's going to get really grainy, kind of like sand, but that's fine. That's what you want. This has to be dry enough to where you can put it in your candy board feeder and it's not just going to run through the holes and into the hive. So you keep mixing until there is absolutely no granulated sugar left in here. This will probably take you several minutes, so don't get lackadaisical about it. It's just got to be done. You want to do it right. You want all the sugar mixed, all the water mixed up. So just keep stirring until it's all incorporated. What you'll end up with is a really sandy putty almost. getting close. Okay, I'm going to call that good. That's the first eight pounds mixed up. Once you get this first eight pounds mixed up, get your candy board. I just put a piece of packing paper under mine. It helps hold the sugar in until it sets. So if it is kind of thin or whatever, it doesn't all run through the bottom. Then get you two pieces of scrap wood. And these are called, I call them chimney molds, because what you're going to use them for is to make chimneys in, in two corners of, of this candy board.
Then you just start packing in this sugar. Get your first eight pounds in there. And you're gonna pack it around this chimney mold. And what's gonna happen is when you take this chimney mold out, it's gonna leave a gap, you know, shaped like the chimney mold. So the bees will have easy access up into it. Now this is gonna take several hours to harden, depending on what your temperatures are and the humidity level, but. Okay. Now that we've got that done, that first half is packed in here. You remove the chimney mold. And what it does is it leaves you a square here in the corner for ventilation and for bee access. Now we'll go ahead and mix up the second eight pounds and put it in the other half and we'll show you the finished product. Alright, now that we've got that second eight pounds mixed up, we're just going to put in our chimney mold and start packing the sugar around the second half of this candy board. Just get it packed in nice and tight, tap it down, you want it to be nice and tapped down so it's firm, that way it'll get sticky and form like a brick in here. Now I personally have never lost a hive that had a candy board on it. Uh, with enough sugar to last the bees in an emergency. So this is a great insurance policy, which is the only reason I do it. Um, you know, it's just a couple of dollars uh, per hive to make a candy board with regular sugar and water. So, and, and if the bees don't use it, like I said, you can come back in the spring and take what they didn't eat uh, and just heat it up on the stove with uh, more water and make you a good feeder syrup for the spring. That's it. Now we'll let this set up. We'll take our chimney mold out. We're gonna let this set up for about two hours and then we'll come back and show you what it looks like. All right, so we've packed all the sugar in there. We've kept two of those chimney molds, one in each corner so the bees would have a ventilation and also an entrance to get up into the sugar if they wanted to come up above. Uh, we've let it set for about, I don't know, an hour or two. It just lets that water and sugar kind of mold together and become uh, fairly sticky, you know, to itself. So it holds its shape and then you can pick this up and the sugar won't fall through it. Then you just take this out and put it on top of your hive. Uh, another good thing about these candy boards like this is sugar is a great moisture wick. So it will actually soak up moisture that the bees produce over the winter and incorporate it into itself. Uh, so it's great for that. So it might even replace, you know, quilt boards or sawdust or whatever you put on uh, in the top of your hive as a moisture wick in the wintertime if you do that kind of thing in your environment. But I hope you found the video useful. Uh, our next video on this winter series will cover uh, oxalic acid fogging for varroa mites late season uh, to prepare your bees for winter. So make sure you like and subscribe. Visit funnybugbees.com for the recipe we used in this. It's in the beekeeping resources section. And we'll see you on the next video.